All right. So after seeing that we have successfully filled the data belt with the modes, so the next thing that I want to do is that that we are going to do is that we are going to try to look at how we, you know, we can actually transform the date of birth uh, into, uh, you know, if you print the date of birth first, the first thing is let's just print date, date underscore birth. We would see equals print, I'm yeah, sorry, it was D O B right. Let us print, print. Let me smell it again. So let us view our data bed. Let us see the format in which it is. Let us copy. Let's open our bracket here. Let us copy. So let us see what our data bed will give us first so that we won't have delay. Let me just comment this. So if you want to comment in Python, we use the hash key. Okay. So let us see what our data bed is going to give us. Okay, then let me comment it. That's a, let me leave it the, the way it, it was. Okay, I don't need to comment. Let's see what we have. Let's see what we have. As I did a bet since we've. Sorry, as I did bet, did a bet. Let us see the format in which it is. Well, while that is running, let us now try to, you know, uh, Try to work with the date time. All right. Sorry, uh, D O B is not divine. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. I was supposed to say D F dot. So I, I believe that that was a problem. Okay. So this should give us the solution to the problem now. All right. Okay. So let us go on. Let us say we want to work with the date time now. So we're going to say from date time import okay so this is the date of birth you can see here that it's giving us 961 03 is giving us the date of birth the it's not giving us the hitch but we want to work with the hitch so that we can make recommendations to the company that give us the job all right so uh let us see from date time import date so if you look at the date of birth, the definition of the date of birth is the date of today minus the year in which date that you were giving birth to. If you try that, you're going to get it. Your date, I mean, to this year minus the year you were giving birth to. If you're giving birth to 1995, you're going to say 1995, I mean, 2020 or 2019 minus 1995. That should give us your age, probably 24. So, so let us see. So, we're going to use be using a function. You know we're going to be using the function method so a dev i love to use a function method it takes uh since we've imported date time so i'm going to like to use that so let me see define calculate calculate uh underscore age sorry underscore h then i'm going to say birth birth date okay birth date Right, so uh, we're gonna give it stress so it's going to give us that so we divide to day because as date then dot today then we open an empty argument and we go for that to divide what age it is sorry 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 so then you go for that to define what our age is actually under this function you can see that we are doing a lot of things so that we can actually use the function later on so we can say today dot uh, year that minus birth date so birth date dot year uh, minus and we open a bracket there we could have stopped here but we want the i wanted to return the actual uh you know stop to me so with another bracket so we're gonna say today today the month um comma let's say today 
dot d and we come out there and we we just see less than sorry we use less than uh, sorry less than uh, um, 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 um. okay sorry less than uh, okay so we open another bracket inside a bracket and we say this date that that month and comma then birth date the date dot um, the day all right so that's our die there then we come and we instruct by so we say return after our return age then we come down here and say age equals uh, equals the f square bracket and d o b and uh, dot apply dot apply then we are telling it to apply it to the h to apply the function calculate the function we define earlier has calculate h all right so we're going to say print sorry print age okay so print age all right so let us see what that returns for us each around so let us wait for that to run all right so while that is running we can also perform other magic we can actually uh, tell you can see that you can see the h the hedges have been returned here yeah? all right so these are the hedges of the of the participants you can see 41 54 so what we want to do now is that we would like to you know see if we would like to see if we can do something around that so we have successfully uh, changed the date of birth into age which was what we wanted to do so we can actually add the each column to the old data frame so what we just do is that we just say that uh, we just say the f dot age equals uh, equals uh, let's see if this will work Okay, so it's saying panel doesn't allow columns to be created by any attribute name. Um, what are we doing wrong there? We must be doing something wrong there. We must be doing something wrong there. Okay. Sorry. So we must be doing something wrong there, anyways. But uh, let's see begin to get our way through it so df dot h sorry sorry okay, so let's see this will work so df dot h equals equals h okay sorry so this will work okay sorry this will work so H equals H. So let us see. This should work under normal circumstances. It should work. Mm 